Hello and welcome everybody back to the dumbass class with me, the Slexic Gamer. As we carry on our playthrough of uh, Mountain Blade 2, Banner Lord. Um, with Derwin, of course, we are, we are back with Derwin. Um, so, we have a couple of issues that are coming up. One is this save is now um, old. I don't know how long we'll be able to keep playing with Derwin. So we, everyone may have to accept there is a chance that Derwin will have to go away, or at least his his appearance may change somewhat. Um, as I may need to bring uh, another person in to make up for the uh, the lost data. But for now, Derwin is very much with us, ah. and I've played a little bit more in the game now. I know how things work a yeah, little bit. So actually we need food. We need food. So what we're going to do is, as far as I can tell, at this point, oh, so you can already see it's, it's, oh, is it crashed? It, it may have crashed. No? It hasn't crashed, but it's not letting me click on any of the, uh, Oh, I can't leave. <laughs> okay, I can't leave. <laughs> okay, let's load it and see what happens. As you can see. Um... Ah, okay. So yeah, the autosave does uh, <laughs> eliminate. Yeah, I was playing quite late last night. Leave me be. Um... It, it, it does eliminate. You don't get two auto saves, sadly. But yes, uh, so this might be the end of Derwin. Um, if we have another problem like that, then yeah, it, it, this might be the end of Derwin. And what we'll have to do is just start up with another character. It's not a problem. Uh, I am really enjoying the game. It is really good. It is Mountain Blade um, Warband just with enhanced graphics and enhanced options. And I, I really like it. And this is only early access. We need to remind ourselves this. There are a lot of quests and a lot of other things that are not in the game yet. And I cannot wait to, uh, to, to do them all, to play it all. So I'm not actually going to do much editing in uh, in this, well, at least this episode at the very least. We'll probably end Derwin's adventure off here. I'll try and recreate him and then we'll come to similar places to do similar things, basically. Um, so what we are currently doing is we want to build up our relationship with this faction. Can't quite remember what their actual name is, but uh, does it say there? No. Um, but these are our people. These are the Bretonians, the Britannians, the what? The the forest people. Are we missing a? No, we can't be missing one already. Yeah. Um. So we again, yeah, we want to build up our relationship with them. And ooh, look. Look, 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 we've already got some uh, some better tiered troops. Oh no! I'm at max. Mm, sadness. We shall have to do some more things. So what do you have? You have a village, uh, a family feud. Well, let us take this, uh, this quest. If the, the game will allow us to. Oh yes, I should mention at the start, which I haven't been doing. Um, if you do enjoy my uh, my content, do like, subscribe, comment uh, down below and uh, let me know what you think of the game or just my playstyle in general. I have been told that people do like the slower approach that I sometimes have a tendency of doing. So yeah, we just did the normal 
Sorry, I did skip that. We did the normal greeting. Um, I've heard... I've uh, heard you have... That you need help with a problem. One of my relatives has fallen victim to his temper during a quarrel and killed a man from the... Ath... The fall. Athkafal? From, oh, from Alt Kafal. We have offered to pay the blood money, but their family, but the family of the deceased has stubbornly refused it. As it turns out, the deceased is a kin of Renald of Ashfall, the elder man of the region. And now the man of Ashfield have sworn to kill my relative. This sounds pretty serious, go on. Tell me more, tell Derwin more. My family is concerned for the boy's life. He's gone into hiding around a village commons, as he can be killed at any time. We need at least someone who can protect him until uh, he accepts the blood money and ends the feud. Would you be... Oh, we would be eternally grateful if you could help my relative and take him with you for a while. What else can be done? You can keep my relative under your protection for a time until people call off. Until the people calling for vengeance settle down. Maybe you can leave one of your warrior companions and five men with him to protect him. Don't worry, I'll protect him myself. Yeah. Ooh, 500. Okay, we will, we will go find him by pressing a magical button. There he is. The magical button of detection. Let us ride, my steed. Ride. Yeah, I mean, the, the game is just stupidly pretty for a Mountain Blade game. I mean, this is, it's not on, it's, no, it's not on par. It's not on par with Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's a prettier game, but not by much. I honestly, I, and again, early access, so things can be changed. Graphics can be tweaked. I think if the lighting effects... I'm looking off into the distance. I think the lighting effects, if they were tweaked a little, would actually, it would be on par with Kingdom Come. And I do love that. They just need to add in a little bit of uh, Fallout and Skyrim elements of things that you can pick up. That's the one thing I've always disliked about Man of Blade. There's always weapons there there's always food there's always all this shit that you just can't pick up it's like ah, spamming the f key but nothing happens who are you and what do you want from me that that was a terrible voice i shall not do it again relax i've talked with your relative i know all about your situation and uh will you protect me please Yes, I will. Come with me. I will take you to this Ash clan, uh, Ash Kafal, to resolve the issue peacefully. No, I, I, I won't go anywhere near them. They'll kill me. You cannot continue to live like a coward. I will protect you for all eternity. Uh, all eternity? That's... Uh, hmm... Derwin, you're going a bit far with this quest. We have to solve this somehow. Also, I gave you my honour. I gave you my honour to protect you if things turn bad. I give you my honour. Yeah, well, yeah. Horsey, don't run away from me. Come back here, Horsey. Horsey, I cannot run. Come back. Horsey, I, I know that voice. It was, it was bad, Horse. I understand. It was bad. And you didn't like it, but I'm sorry. Oh, also, so the arrows on the screen. 
they tell you which direction you're attacking from. If anyone was confused about what they're for, yeah, I found out that's what it's for. Just to help you with fighting, I think. Although my, my other characters have not been good at fighting. But fighting has not been their strong, their strong suit. So, we have the child. The child is now with us, and we must come over to here. Uh, also, I don't know if F... What was it again? I don't know if F9 is quick save anymore. I'm not quite sure. But I will tell you this much. Save often. I've been in a quest before, and I've done this quest. So the game is buggy. You will get crashes. This is not a finished product. I've had a quest which I'd done before. I picked it up. I think it was in that place. And the game auto saved. So every time I left, it would crash. Fortunately, I did have another save. So I wasn't completely boned. Uh. Uh. You think it's him? But we're actually going to walk through the village. Um, if you... I can't remember how much of this you guys have seen. And how much I've... i played a lot by myself. Um, that sounds bad. Anyway. Moving on. Um, <laughs> oh, we don't get... Yeah, we do get access as well. If you go up to this guy. An old... If you go up to him... Uh, through the talk menu, you will automatically go into um, not first person mode, but you you basically you start right next to him. Like it it brings you in where your horse is right next to this guy, and considering it can turn ugly, you don't want that. You want some space between you and the enemy. So what do we... We don't have a shield. That, that's sad. Come along! And yes, you can see the uh, the bug with the uh, face. It's gone. Seeing your facial hair and nostrils is... Ugh. He's mad. Hideous. Yeah, no, it... Very pretty game. Very pretty game. He likes pretty game. And especially considering, you know, Warband. I mean, how fucking old is that game? I need to stop swearing as well. Um, yeah, how old is Warband? How many mods have been placed upon it to make it look better? I can't wait to see what the modders do with this game. It'll be it'll be insane. Ah, oh, it'll be so good. Anyway, right, right, right. Back, back to the quest. Back. Uh, get out of first person. So where is he? Because the thing is, it's it's going to be if it turns out bad, it's going to be all of uh, all of these guys against me and him. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not going to go well. Me some, I want some room between the two. We well, well, well. What do we have here, horsey? What are you doing? Yeah, horsey's trying to protect me. He wants to get in the way. Are oh, you good, horsey? Have you come to your own funeral? Oh, wait, wait. We, we've come to talk. Uh, listen to us, please. You Eve. I'm thinking that's Derwin's voice. I think. You evil bastard. I knew we could find you somehow. Now you're facing justice. Hold your horses. This lad is under my protection. We have come here to talk in peace. What there to talk about? This bastard murdered one of my kinsmen. And it be our right to take vengeance on him. You're breaking the law. 
Maybe. Yeah, they sound exactly the same, which is sad. So, okay. This means bugger all. This one will end the conversation. Horsey, don't take his side. Take my side. Protect me. He's phasing in and out of my horse. Um, just because it says 74%, I've seen it fail. So, the charm and calculating are actually more important. Like, if they have... If, if he is, is calculating, then it makes a bigger difference. You can critically succeed and fail, though. Oh, we succeeded. Oh, I didn't read it. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't read it. I can read it now. Don't worry. It doesn't disappear. He said it was an accident, and his family are ready to pay blood money for his folly. Law says you have to accept it. Otherwise, you will be punished. And he accepts this. No, Horsey! Horsey's betrayed me. He's left me open to attack. And then some customs will give the same rights to their enemies. Too many innocents will suffer because of your selfishness. Ooh, it, are we fucking hell? No, no, stop swearing. Flee me, Nick. Uh, that almost... I've only had that happen three times and I've done this quest like, I don't know, 12 All right, we'll spare the life of the boy. Now get out of my sight. Well, if you must, I would stab you anyway. Well, you are free, boy. Uh, yeah, that's just nonsense. Yeah, that's just nonsense. Sorry, I was going to read what he said if it meant, if it was important, but it wasn't. There have been raiders riding across our lands and taking our turnips, my lord. It's a terrible time. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Uh, how much food do we have? Because I always run out of food. Um, you also get a, um, uh, a morale bonus if you have a certain amount of food on you. And you'll notice that your, uh, your morale will go down as your food levels drop. We've got a nice 500. For, uh, for completing that quiz. So now... Ooh, 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 I just remembered something. Is it this place? Or is it this place? I think it's this place. Now, one of these places buys silver for a lot of money. Okay, I should also talk about trading. So yeah, I should talk about trading. So trading in this game, you can make an awful lot of money. An awful lot of money. But the the um the world is reactive. So if you sell a lot of products in one place, well guess what? Uh, the price goes down. And you're not really gonna be able to uh You're not there's not gonna be a lot you can do. Um and what I find is a little bit weird. There don't seem to be like provinces. So, for example, in this kingdom, you'll find fur sellers. You'll also find that one of these places will read will pay a lot for furs, but then somewhere else, like somewhere over here, will pay five times the amount for furs. And yet, someone over here will also pay a lot for furs. So. It's difficult to, like, I haven't been able to write down a list of places to go um, to sell products yet. It's something I'm working on, but uh, have not yet achieved it. We'll get some more butter, because why not? We can be the butter lord. The butter lord. Um, right, let's go over to this town. So I touched upon trading. Um... And yeah, again, the villages are reactive. So they will produce products and stockpile them. So if trade is bad within a faction because of a lot of raiding has happened, you'll find that down here you can buy wool for like 20 
a packet and then you can sell it over somewhere around here for like 140 per packet um which is a ridiculous amount of profit i want them they're a big enough party that i want them. oh we're moving so slowly i was sure we were meant to get a speed bonus when moving through uh oh i'll just go in here do you have any good troops for us no you do not do you have any products that we want to buy no you do not do you have a quest for us family feud again um but we, we've just done that one so i'm not going to do it again i'll try and do a different one uh, also i may have to spend a lot of time just training off screen wow they're moving really quick that makes me sad and also you can see here that there are um other um heroes going about i'm wondering if they're going to be special characters for us later on but who knows aha uh -huh. sorry as i drink a shitload of coffee so you can see here we could sell these for 165 uh, and we're only paying 36 for it so yeah yeah i'm gonna, just gonna buy all buy all 720 now where did it say we could sell you will have real trouble finding these places just to put that out there it, it, they're not easy places to find What's your one? Pestalor of Bog's birth wants his daughter found. Um, I think we've already done one of these, but sure, we'll we'll do we'll do another one. Why not? This quest can actually get you some money. They know me as Derwin. Mark it down. You shall be hearing. You shall be hearing of me a lot. You are some wretch. I do not care. Yes, I've suffered a great misfortune. My daughter, a headstrong girl, has been bewitched by a ne'er-do-well. I told her to stop seeing him, but she wouldn't listen. Now she is missing. I'm sure she has been abducted by him. I'm offering a bounty of 1,650 1, gold to anyone who can bring... Tell me more. Everything is wrong. He's from a lower family, the kind who are always involved in some uh, land fraud scandal, yeah. or seeming dealing with, or seen dealing with bandits. Every village has a black sheep like that, but I never imagined he would get his hooks into my daughter. Yes, we'll go and do it. So. Another thing I really like about this game. Please don't crash on me. I'm trying to tell people how much I like things about you. Don't, don't screw me over. Um, It marks down where you need to go. So when you zoom out, if you need to go come to somewhere over... Oh, fuck me. That's where we can sell the... Well, we're going there after this quest. Um, And you can also tag them. So when you zoom in, it will always show you where it is. Now, I love that feature. It makes quests and finding where you need to go so much easier. It actually makes it a joy rather than a trial, which a lot of these games sometimes, you know... Well, sorry. A lot of the mods for Mountain Blade, Warband, um, had that issue where it's like, okay, so I need to go to this town. And sure, it might tell you the town, but it doesn't tell you where to go in the town you spend like three hours looking that's an over exaggeration but still you ask around sorry trying to hold back gas and again uh you ask around the village if anyone has seen Gwyneldwin the healer or some or some suspicious character with a young woman the villagers say there is a young man and woman Kate who Came here exhausted. Villagers allowed them to stay here for a while. Go and check the area. Sniff them out. And again, I absolutely love 
this ability. Just hold down a button and you can see where you need to go. That's another thing that I, I have to hand it to the developers. You know, it is a it is a massive improvement on Warband. And again, a lot of this stuff like oh, horsey. Need to stop swearing. Damn it, horsey. Is damn it a swear? Who knows? Um okay, okay. the stuff that I'm mentioning has been used in other games before. It's not new, but it is new to Warband. And I like I I'm really like blown away at the moment how they haven't fucked the game up. All, it seems as if they've taken Warband, what we loved from Warband, they've kept everything that we loved, and they've just added in more. And I'm really sorry, guys, but for me, that is just like, developers, you have done, you, you are good boys and girls. You are, you are good people. We, we like you. Right, horsey, I want you in a position where we can ride away very easily. <laughs> Come on, back up. Back up. Come on, roast your bum. Who are you? Are you one of those bounty hunters? That's sent by... Uh, sword the Bog. To us? Look, pal. We haven't done nothing wrong. As you may figure out already, this woman and I, we love each other. I didn't force her to do anything. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I know what the problem is with, with their faces. There's a, um, there's an option to make their, their features symmetrical. And you can change it so like they have like what she's got there, a snarl. Although I will give it to her, she is probably one of the prettier um, generated NPCs that I've seen. He's right. I ran away willingly. I love my father, but he can be such a tyrant. Please, sir, if you'll believe in freedom and love, please let us be. How do I know he is not forcing you to say that? Uh, please, sir. I love him truly, I, I, and I wish to spend the rest of my life with him. I beg of you, please don't stand in our way. But I've promised to find you and return you to your father. He would be devastated. Yes, he would. Uh, yes, he would probably, probably be very sad. But not because of what you think. Uh, see, my father promised me to one of his allies. Sons, and he will be devastated at his plans. This is true. He cares nothing for me, only for his reputation. Well, let us see. Perhaps he made these plans because he loves you, stupid girl. Oh, I see. Uh, we're probably not going to complete this one, but leadership and honor. She has no honor. <gasps> Darwin, we must kill her. Oh, sorry. Maybe, but that is your duty to your family, girl. Uh, does she... Roguery or mercy? No, no, she has she has no mercy for her father. That's why. Oh, hang on. Oh, did I get a critical failure? I think I did. I will not abandon my love. But I gave my promise to break off. I cannot break this promise. I accept your jewel. Right, horsey! Right. Get us some distance. And let us shoot him. In the most noble and honourable way. Oh, I missed. Fuck. <gasps> you struck my horsey. How dare you, sir. Now. Oh, I'm riding the wrong way. God damn it. So there is a way to do horse archery. And it's to ride the right way. <laughs> Uh, oh god, I'm doing so bad. I mean, I've never actually tried to do this with one person. <laughs> Did I get him? I didn't kill him. I got him, but not killed. 
But yeah, you just ride round in a in a circle. <laughs> it's far more effective on bigger groups, to be fair. Damn it, Derwin. Come on, Derwin. You're making me look the fool. I mean, at night time is not the best time to be. Oh, I thought I had an entry. Yeah, that was pathetic, though. Huzzah! Come with me, girl. I hate you. You killed him. I can't believe it. I will hate you for all my... I will hate you for all my heart till the day I die. Someday you will see I did you a favour. Pack up. We need to go. I told you, Derwin's a bit of a bastard. <laughs> he really is. He doesn't care. Fuck love. I need money. <laughs> Uh, do you have any high-level troops? No. no, you do not. So, yeah, I will add on... Uh, wait, why is it telling me to go there? I think that's a bug. It shouldn't be telling you to go back to... Like, we have the girl. She's in a... Ooh, don't check your... So, we've got one too many people at the moment. If we go onto our party menu, we'll have to get rid of a person. Um, that's the one. That's the one. Go and have a little chatty poo with him. Oh, it. I'll mark your name. About the task you gave me. Bring me my girl. Yes, here she is. 1,600... Now, the funny thing is, she is actually in the village. Like, when you bring her back, there she is. I, can you recruit troops off her? I don't think you can, but you can recruit her. But you can actually bring her along with you. I think we may have gone over this before. You'll have to forgive me. I'm, I am struggling to remember what I told you in the last episodes and what I didn't. Because the game's just so good. I put so many hours in that now I can't really remember what. Oh, silver ore. Yes. Oh, that was what we were going to do. I remember now. Um, have we got enough time? We have enough. Oh, I should have attacked those bandits. Sadness. Well, this is not going to be a fighty episode. That, that's just going to have to be established. So we want to buy some products. Ha 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 ha. For 200, we could sell it for. We're going to buy all of their ore. We are going to be overweight. Which is... Oh, yes, we do have an extra space. Take him. Take him with us. What do you have? Your daughter needs to be found. Okay. Well, we've just done that quest, so we're not going to do it again. Uh, so, mm, another sad point. A, a lot of the quests are just going to be rehashed. At this moment in time, most of the quests haven't been added. Darwin gained two, two skill points in stewardship. Huh. So yeah, a little bit sad, but it, it can't really be helped. Um, as for weapons, so here's the thing. Derwin has access to a shitload of arrow like bows. Normally you can't use all of these, but Derwin can. Um, I would love a longbow, because I think longbows are amazing. However, we'd have to get off our horse, and I don't like that. Oh, look at all the good stuff they have here. But to buy it all means to, uh, to spend an awful lot of money I don't want to do. Um, so yeah, we are going to be overweight here, and we may even become even more overweight. Oh, you're joking me. You don't have any silver ore? Oh, that's interesting. So also, I've learned about crafting. 
Um, you buy iron ore from here, or from anywhere on the map. You buy hardwood. You turn the hardwood into um, into charcoal. So I shall show you over here. We're not actually going to do it, but I'll quickly just give you a show. You pick who you want to do it. So for now, we've got Derwin with 100 stamina. You come over here and you convert hardwood into coal. You convert ore into crude and crude into wrought and wrought into iron. And then you can come over here and create your, your weapon. You have to make this weapon. Um, every time it seems, every time you craft an item and get more skill, you unlock more um, more mods, basically. And then you can turn old weapons into, uh, into goods as well. Like for all those farming tools that you keep getting in combat, you don't actually have to... Um, you don't actually have to bugger I didn't have a look how much silver was worth in there did I go back um you don't actually have to sell all your crappy uh weapons you can you know convert them oh it's only 60 but how that how is that possible Derwin they have none yet they they want the highest price for it it's sad Uh, aha 172 remember we paid 70 for it gimme 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 it does go down rather quick though and again what we paid i wish it told you how much you paid for it i think that's actually a skill um i think we paid 30 or around there so that is just oh actually uh but i know somewhere that will sell it from that we'll get more for uh, okay you know what we're gonna sell it all here oh mm, beautiful beautiful simple bastard sword well i am a bit of a bastard and i am kind of simple but then am i am i broad i do have broad shoulders <laughs> Or else I'll stop now. I'm actually going to invest in this. A better sword for us. Oh, they have better bow. That's 2,600. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. Mm. Also, bows are, her are horrifically terrible. Um, like to go up against. No, we're not. We're not gonna get no, we're not gonna get one yet. We shall wait. We shall wait. So let me think for a moment. We want more furs so we can go down south. Where has a load of fur? Um, I know where we can get wool. Oh, hang on. Is it over here? Ponies, grapes. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember where it is. It's these two here. They both do furs. Wine. Okay, no, we're going to go on a fur hunt. Uh, you also do furs, so you're the first one. Because if we can come down to this place and get a whopping great price for them, I think it will be worthwhile. Now, as you've seen, some of the quests... Oh, stop, stop, stop. Go after them. I want them. They, they will be mine. Beast upon their souls. Oh, we're, we're only... Oh, I need to stop swearing. Damn it. Um, Yeah, we were, We would only... It would take us forever to catch up to them. And they're going the wrong way. 
We'll see if we can get some Sea Raiders. Um, but I tell you what. I no, and gained a level. Uh, I tell you what, we will actually do our level. Oh, it was just one of these. It wasn't one of these. That holy shit, Derwin's filled up on that. Huh. I didn't realize we. Huh. He learns that ten times faster. Oh, so I should explain this a little bit better. No, no, I think I've already done it. But basically, the more pips you put in, the more experience you get. The more um, pips you have in here, the more experience you get. It, it's quite simple to work out. You can't... So I really should put a point in charm. In fact, I will. Just so that we can learn more charm. Oh, I'll put a point in stewardship. Because you kind of use that all the time. Oh, I should have put a point in merchant in trade. Because now we're currently not learning anything. Like, no matter how much trade experience we get, we won't be able to increase. Which is sad. Oh, wow, they're actually having a war. Oh, I love how they line up like that. That's cool. But the Norse are going to lose. Um, well, if he comes and helps, they might. Five. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to end the episode off there. So we'll get one more episode in with Derwin um, before I think we'll have to swap over. I don't want to get too far with Derwin on this build. Um, simply because this build might start crashing constantly. It might become corrupt. <gasps> it might become corrupt. So yeah, in the next episode... Are they moving faster than me? We should catch up to them. So in the next episode... Oh god, no we're not. We will see if we can, if we can hunt down these... Looters or not. And uh, yeah. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to the future episodes to come. If you did like this episode, please leave a like, a comment, or if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of my content, try subscribing. I upload almost every day with some sort of content here or there. So thank you all so much. Take care, everyone. And as always, bye-bye for now.